finally live on YouTube. So, everybody on, where am I? YouTube, we're also streaming on TikTok. TikTok, we're also streaming on YouTube. And Jeff is just warming up before he gets into the actual painting, which is right behind. I don't know which one I like better. Hello, everyone. Hello everyone on YouTube land. Ooh, I like those fady drippy things. Can you guys hear it's okay on YouTube? Marie Thorntini. What, Marie's on there? Mm-hmm. What Marie, is she doing? are you having a great birthday week? Tell Jeff Maddox says hi. Hello, Carrie. I hope you, Maddox, and Scarlett are doing amazing. Jeff, what's up? Aw. He's doing a Marie. Mm. He's going to add an E on there, I'm sure. Did I not? This is still like that. According to YouTube. My, uh, I don't know why I left it off. I left the talk off TikTok too. I was just like doing doing the letters. Hello, Shane, Nancy, Bant, Betty, everybody on YouTube, and also everybody on TikTok. She said, "Just don't put an A, and we'll be good." Maria. Hello, Tanya. This will probably be his last little um, warm up because he's running out of space. See what stencils are you going to need? Or do you have them already? All right, enough warm up jibber jabber. So, TikTok, let me know where you're chiming in from. I'd love to. Love to uh, know where everybody's from, or even if we have any airbrush artists in here. Normally, I would mask this off. Like oh. I, I normally mask. I brought it over just I in case. I, I don't think I need it. Um, I probably, I probably will, anyways, just to show you guys um, how I do the shadow of lips normally. Um, and since this is such a um, a shiny background and I won't be airbrushing outside of this because of all this detail and stuff on here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to mask this off, but I'll, I'll mask this off just so that I can ATG. take this part out, lower it so you can get a good, that's how you get a nice shadow for your lips. So what I'll do is I'll show hey, you. Hey Kim. Thank you guys on TikTok for telling us where you guys are tuning in from. Please where, tap where the screen. Got, where we got? Northern California, Denver, Dallas represent. Nice. You Dallases. Hey Tim. We're in Dallas as well. We we uh, our studios down uh, downtown basically. All right. So, go to the depot. Omi Depot. Omi Depot. Um, and go to your I don't know what, why they... It's cabinet lining. Cabinet lining. There you go. Uh, my brain is mushy today for some reason. I gave him a kiss before the live. Um, and uh, get you some of this stuff. I've been using it 
for years because frisket is too damn expensive and um, I'm just not a fan of it. Too thin. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, nice. I want to go to Puerto Rico. Right, so then what you're going to do thinking of, and I'll just do it with a hand pencil. So I'm just going to show you all how to make a nice shadow for your teeth. I'm going to put my old man glasses on. Got it, Vamp. Am, am I just, is it too close? No, you're good. I just had to move you around. So I like to cut right just right above the line because this part's going to be masked off and that way i know look at girl cat God. what makes cats so jumpy and they've lived here for what three years now oh my god that's crazy two and a half so i cut it just above the line so i i'm not going below and then when I peel this off, I thought she was gonna jump. just imagine there would be just a little bit covering the white. And when I paint it and I take that off, there's going to be a little sliver of white. So try to cut right, just right above the line because you're going to, you're going to darken this anyways for the, for the lip shadow. There's no bottom teeth, so yeah. that'll be easy. I'm just going to cut this all the way. Alright, so now we're going to peel this part out where your teeth are exposed. So all this is masked off. Yeah, all this is masked off right here. So now what you're going to do... Thank you, Kim. The piece is available. It. You can drop it this low. You can drop it this low. You can drop it wherever. Sometimes I do like to maybe go to the left or right. Um, I guess depending on where you put your highlights, but there's really not going to be highlights on this mm. because of the graffiti. So I'm just going to drop it down straight. Yeah, there's not going to be like a forced light source. Um, if you guys like this piece, it is available for purchase. No idea how much yet. It is a 30-inch round. Um, also, if you have any questions about airbrush or any other form of art that we do, please don't hesitate to ask. We love answering questions and so he says hi. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm barely going to hit this. Like you're not, I mean, you'll see it, but if you think it's too light, don't, don't go darker. Because with the with this stencil up here, with that protection right here, you'll definitely be able to see it. It doesn't even really look like much right now. That is the air compressor. And I like to I like to have uh, do this a little bit darker here towards the edge of the teeth. And then right up here. Top of the lip, or at least on the bottom. Of the they keep saying they can't hear us. Mm. You know what a party button is? I think it's on on my table over there. All right, so here we go. We ready? Look at that. You wouldn't even think it would be that dark, right? I don't know where it is. However, Kimberly, thank you so much for that tip. It really helps us. You have thank no you, idea. Kimberly. All right, so now we're going to paint the teeth, which um, she has a, a little, these are a little crooked, but, you know, teeth aren't perfect, so... I don't mind it. And you always want to make sure this is dry. Airbrush paint. 
will smear and then it's ruined forever. <laughs> practice piece still available are you talking about that brown piece of paper so i'm just going to outline i'm just going to barely hit the 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 teeth separation just a little bit right here to give it a little dimension i'm going to give this a little bit much if you're on tiktok Please take a moment to tap the screen, follow us, and share the video if you get a moment. YouTube, please subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, the proof is Johnny Cash. Um, it is available. To my knowledge, no one has purchased Mr. Johnny Cash. If you guys don't know, Jeff did this Johnny Cash yesterday. Yesterday? Day before yesterday? It is 20 by 20. Gallery wrap canvas. Uh, mixed media. It's acrylic. All right. So now I'm going to do this little T separator. Sorry if I'm in the way, y'all. Okay, I'm just adjusting it. So what I like to do is just do a little little spray you don't need to make it really heavy and then go just on the other side don't um, I'm trying not to make a solid solid line because then it just makes the teeth stick out I like to go right next to that line and it gives it more of that separation I like to give them the little ridges there. Alright, now let's do this. Oh, that goes right there. Is it brown because I made the teeth kind of wonky? Yeah. It'll be alright. So Jeff is using his stencils that you can get on our website, artistkilled.com. Uh, these are just little hand stencils that, that I make. Because if you're an airbrush artist, you know they charge ridiculous amounts of money for their hand stencils. So throughout the years, I've just made my own, as you can see. Um, this, I believe, I did this for eyes. Eyes. Uh, kind of noses, but this, it's a little too big of a round. Um, this is for this is for noses. I know that and eyes. What color are you airbrushing with? Uh, it's a that's a mixture of transparent black, transparent gray, and uh, carbon black. All by pretext or golden? No, it's it's uh. Golden and golden, yeah. <laughs> golden and golden. Golden and golden. Sounds like a. Okay. Lawyer company. Oh, it does sound like a law firm. Golden and golden. You too? Mm. I'm do this guy. It comes, it comes, the stencils that we have on our website comes with three different sizes of eyes, if you're into doing eyes. A little, little practice. Um, it comes with a bunch of different sizes for like the arms or legs or whatever. I mean, it comes, you can use, use it for pretty much anything. I try to be a little diverse on my on my hand stencils, so it's not just... There we go. 
What do you think? That, that's good and dark enough? I like it. I like it a lot. All right, now I'm just gonna kind of give this a little more shadow so it's looked more in the t inside the mouth. All right, now we're gonna take this <coughs> this off, and you have shadow. Bada bing. Yay, shadows. All right, so. I didn't know if I wanted to do, I guess I should do it in black. I thought about doing it in purple. Because then it would be uh, the, sh the shading for the down here and then the lips and stuff. So, all right, here we go. I'm just going to kind of go with the, uh, with the form. Since there's really no lines on here. Normally we have lines to kind of show where the lip creases are, but they just get hidden in something like this. So I'm just gonna do the shading. I'm gonna I'm 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 coming up about I don't know, I say a fourth. Just enough to leave a little bit of highlight. So yeah, so where it just looks like it's kind of going under, but it's still lit up a little bit. So the shadow doesn't It's really kind of tough to even see this unless you really get in there and make it dark. So if you're thinking about doing something like this, do the graffiti or the image to where it's not getting covered up with airbrush. Uh, just practice practice what I was doing practice doing stuff that you've never done practice doing stuff that you see other people doing Eric says he always adds some purple to their black yeah I, I normally do that like if I'm doing lettering and and what not like <clears throat> They can't hear you? TikTok, can you hear her talking? Can you hear Erica talking? You have the mic. Uh, oh, I know. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Uh, Lisa says, tell Jeff to check out Jono Dry on YouTube. He is self-taught pencil charcoal artist, does eyes, and he does other super realistic stuff too. Great artist. Awesome. I will. start putting the artwork that we have completed on our website for purchase um, unless you guys purchase it before we get it on the website which is also fine big C Chris hello sunflower hello Lisa Heidi What is he growling at? He's making eye contact with boy cat. <laughs> what kind of airbrush can I start off with? What type are you using? Um, I'm using the Iwata. Uh, Iwata Eclipse. Um, you can start off with this. This is uh, this is just a really good versatile airbrush. 
Um, they have they have a little bit more expensive ones, a little bit more fine detail. Um, like I said, Iwati Eclipse. That's a good airbrush. Um, if you don't want to spend that kind of money on... Man, just putting this dark makes it look even more busier, though. That's crazy. It's Of the things that can look busy, graffiti is one of them. Um, let's try this. Um, you can go with, uh, on Amazon they have... A master. A ma it's called Master. Where are the big hoops at? I guess I don't we have any big hoops. Um, yeah, it's called Master Airbrush, and it comes with, like, a couple different tips, I believe. Thanks, Pamela. Hi, Sunflower. That's so amazing. Love your work. I'm going to see what this will look like if I just put a little bit of a... Yeah, you know, this might work a little better. That's better. That's better. So now Jeff's just putting in some mm, lip texture. Yeah, bold. just, just kind of... Just to kind of give it more of lip lipage. Lipness? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Joe, everybody. Thank you for watching. Like you're adding a highlight rather than the shadow. You think? Oh, because of. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like you're brightening it. It looks really awesome. Especially in camera. Can you stop it with Can you stop it? If you guys that are watching want to have any commission artwork done, we accept commissions. Mm, Selective commission. Not, not, not. <laughs> Selective commission. Um, yeah, I'm. I uh, I learned to to not open commission like doing portraits, especially. Um, people ask me to paint, well, can you do my, my, my mom and put my sister in the background and, but my dad's not there. So could you add him? And I'm like, nope, I don't do family portraits. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of painting children. Um, it's just, it's just difficult to paint children unless it's a really fun, funny picture, you know, like. I wonder if this is going to work. Oh, God, it is going to work. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of painting family portraits or anything. Just What I'm going to do here is I'm going to erase. Yeah, look at that. So this is a pen eraser. I've used these for pretty much the whole time I've been airbrushing. And what it is, it's really solid. It's a really solid eraser. Real coarse, so it really gets rid of... Look at that. That looks great, right? Yeah, that highlight's like awesome. It, it gets rid of the paint. Sunflower, you're a fluid artist. We do fluid art. Most, mostly. We do, well, I do. Resin, and we've done a couple of acrylics. It wasn't too bad. Lisa says, this is awesome. I need to get my airbrush out and try again. Jeff makes it look so easy. Dot, dot, it's not. Well, you, that's the thing. You just have to keep pursuing it. You just have to keep doing it. Eric Hansen said that stencil will be good for fire. Oh yeah. That is definitely, this one is good for fire too. Um, and it does, I'm pretty sure it comes with the set. Yeah, this one would be good for fire too as well. Faux show, faux show. 
Tiffany, that um, Johnny Cash is still available. I don't know if you can hear me. What type of paint do you usually use? Uh, golden. Golden high flow. Joella said, did I see Erica using a cordless airbrush? Where can I get one like that? Uh, I, nope. <laughs> nope. I, I no. I'm trying to think of what it would have been other than that puff thing. Lisa says, I'm just starting to learn. I do the exercises Jeff taught us. It looks great. Sorry, late. What kind of reader was that? Reader? I'm sorry, Carol. What is that? A, a reader? Uh, no worries, Tiffany. And then I like to go in here and give it a little texture. His teeth have little highlights and low lights and Joe, if you screenshot that, whatever I was using in that video and send me a picture, I'll tell you what it was. Jillian says, wow, who knew an eraser could make so much change? Beautiful. Oh, eraser. Uh, can you tell them what kind of eraser that is? It's just a pen eraser. It's gray. You can get them at like Office Max or whatever, or your art store. I think Hazel has them. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bitty highlight for some shiny teeth. Um, Give it some shine. Sunflower. A little bit of shine. Uh, and you can also use. You can also use X-Acto Blade to do uh, highlights. Just scrape away, give it like a little shine. Just be careful you don't scratch through your... through your paint. You can find the stuff that I do on this channel because it's me and my husband. I wonder, maybe we can put some highlights with the marker. Thank you, Sunflower. Yeah, I, I think it'll just get lost. I think it will too. Joseph and Tiffany are both checking their budget for the Johnny Cash. They said the race is on. <laughs> but he said the race is on. I know that was George Jones, LOL. Doing airbrush to me is intimidating. It's really not. It's just, at first it, it is. It, it's very difficult. Um, but, I mean, everything is difficult at first. It's just you're willing to stick with it. Because at first your brain is, is saying something and then your hand is doing 100% the opposite of what you think you should be doing. And the airbrush is like, mm -mm, that's not how you use that. <laughs> Hi Libby. I wish I would have made the graffiti a little bit bigger and not so busy. Well, I'm, we'll just I am have to not do a graffiti one. artist, so. What do you think about an outline? Maybe like a, a pink outline? Light blue? Are you doing neon pink? Not unless you want to do I don't even know how to freehand draw. I use, I need stencils. There's nothing wrong with using There's stencils. There's nothing wrong with stencils. 
Sunflower said my husband used to airbrush, but he got his hand crushed, so he can't anymore. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. I don't know if I want to do this on there or on the actual. It's just so edge, like it just so stops, like. Mm -hmm. Tiffany says she thinks the size of the graffiti is perfect. Well, it's just supposed to look like a, a wall that's just been painted on. I put some Obey stickers on here. Oh, yeah. I don't know what else to do. Sunflower. I hope he's found another way to art. I wish I had a rounded Nibbling. nib. There are some. Yeah. There's one. I'm not even going to eat those chips because I know TikTok will be like, are you eating? I don't know. All right, so I'm just going to I'm just going to hit this. He's trying to teach himself how to do it left handed. I feel like Jeff would do that, too. You know, that's what uh, Frank Frazetta did. I, I just uh, aged myself there. Frank Frazetta is a, uh, he did the death dealer. Um, the art piece with the guy sitting on the horse. The polar bears, all the exotic women, and the Conan stuff. Oh, wow. Um, he had a stroke. Oh, halo. And he uh, taught himself to draw with his left hand. And uh, it gave it a different look, but it was even better. I feel like I remember you telling me that story. Yeah. His yeah. wife has all the original paintings he's done in like Minnesota somewhere. I, I don't quote me on that. I'm it's like somewhere uh in a in a gallery. She never she never sold any. He never sold any paintings just uh posters and stuff. I would love to go see those. I'm not sure I like this outline, but it did kind of make it pop out a little more, not so sticker-like. Yeah, it does. It did bring it out a little bit. Um, Tiffany, this is a, I think, 29-inch round, maybe 30. Yeah, I think it's a 30-inch round. Airbrushing is on muscle memory. Keep practicing. Yeah. Hi, King Music. JJ said one of my heroes. Jeff is so right about brain and hand being opposed. That's awesome, Sunflower. I don't know what else to do to this. We could add a drippy since we went kind of I, I thought about that, but we went. this is so... Uh... Yes, the background is resin. Sunflower says, the more you do, the more I'm falling in love with this piece. We have a time lapse of it as well um, that we'll be posting that we're filming on the GoPro. So we'll have it the full process in one video on YouTube. It's okay if those lines are sketchy. Because it's grippy. You know what I mean? Just try to keep them cohesive. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get irritated and fill it in. Um, let it dry um, and then just go back over it. 
with Posca pin, you can do that. Um, you could also spray matte spray over it, which I'm going to do. So that it gives it a little protection. What are we going to price this piece at? Honestly, I do not know. A lot of people ask them. All right, so I'm going to dry this. Oh, I can't spray that because then it's... Yeah, we have to mask it. And I could also, I'll just let it, I'll dry it. And then, uh, I should have made some thinner lines. I don't know why I made them all the same fatness. Um, and I can airbrush them too, like to make it look three-dimensional. Pennsylvania. Yeah, his wife has that. All right. Libby says, I especially admire your realism. So talented. Could you put UTC on it or only for all resin? You could put UTC on it or even resin. I'm not going to fully resin this piece because I like the flat lip against the gloss of the resin background. Sunflowers in Pennsylvania. You should go by there and see it. She says that is awesome. Um, Tiffany, I have no idea what we're going to price this piece at. So one way to get rid of marker lines is to go in front of your, like draw your line in front of the marker and not go back over it. This is a little, it's a little sketchy. I think it's just so thin. Yeah, try not to go over your other marks to to top, top like of? go to the right and don't go back over it to the left okay. and that that'll that'll make it all cohesive if there are lines like there is but i'm going to put airbrush on this so i'm not worried about it and i think because this is resin it's just so slippery that there's no tooth to it and that's why I like to put uh, spray mount, or uh, I'm sorry, spray mat. All right, so we're going to make these drips a little realistic. The airbrush just covers up that all the little lines. God, I have that I'm a teenage dirtbag song stuck in my head. Because of the 
TikTok. Always because of TikTok. Always TikTok. Um, let me think here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last one? Yeah. So, Tiffany, the price tag on this one is six. And normally, I wouldn't use this white. But since it's graffiti-ish, and no, I don't claim to be a graffiti artist. I, uh, I never have. I never said I was a graffiti artist ever. Even when I did do graffiti um, back in the day, I just like to use spray paint as a tool. Sounds good, Sunflower. See you on YouTube. Same, same name, Artist Till Death. I like it. I think it's, I think it's good. What do you guys think? I think it's fun. And whoever buys it, I'll put lights back here. So it lights up on your wall. No charge. I see it, Tiffany. You want both? Both? The Johnny and the lip? You want both? You want both? Give you good price? Woo! What y'all think? A G string? Sounds good, Evelyn. Sounds good. If I, if I, I bet if I did airbrush white, it might look all right for like highlights, like because of the. But also, I like it darker because. Yeah, I think it'll just make it muddy looking. So we've got two people wanting the lip piece. Okay. Evelyn and Tiffany. Whoever. So. You guys want to do an auction? <laughs> Whoever pays more. Or rock, paper, scissors? Well, I can just do another one. Oh, yeah. Ask Evelyn if we can um, create another one for her. Three minute time lapse. <laughs> Evelyn, can we make you another one, a different, just slightly different graffiti style one? We yeah, can... I've been wanting to do another one. Yeah. Would that be okay? And you can pick the size. Hi, TG's granddaughter. All right. So, Maybe we can put some dark in this. What do you think about that? <clears throat> and it's funny because I almost threw this away. This was my. I want to probably say the second one of these that I had. The easel? The easel, yeah. Um, and I just couldn't bring myself to throw it away. Because <laughs> it's such a, it's such a, it's still a great easel. And Erica got me this one. Um, and 
And so I put it in the hallway just to kind of like, mm, maybe we could just put some paintings on it and let it sit there. And I was like, mm, I'm just going to bring it in and uh, put a painting on it so that I have more enticing for me to paint something if it's up already sitting on something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a purple, a dark purple, which I already have some dark purple, so let's do that. They are both yours. Evelyn, I gotcha. Thank you for looking out. And Chandra on TikTok wants to know what you're going for. And we've sold just now the lips for 600 But we can always do another set for you. Will you find the pliers for me, please? It should be in that bag. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you very much. Um, and if you're on TikTok and you don't know who we are, I'm Thornton. That's Erica back there. We're Artists Till Death. We are out of Dallas, Texas. Um, we do a lot of different artwork. Um, I do a lot of airbrush, painting, portraits. Um, Erica does and sells a lot of resin supplies. We are basically a one-stop resin shop. It's true. Um, so if you guys need any resin supplies, artistilldeath.com. Go check us out over there. Also, thank you guys for supporting our artwork. As a small business and as people that live off their artwork, um, it means so much when you purchase our artwork. It means you support what we do, and we really feel the love when you do that. So thank you. And it looks like you guys are getting a two-for-one because I had no idea he was going to work on this piece today. I didn't either. Damn these bottles. So this is the kind of paint I use. It's a uh, golden high flow, transparent and opaque. Oh, come on. How hard is it just to unscrew this? But it wants to be a... <laughs> this must be some old paint. All right, so this is the same type of airbrush, but this one is, uh, there's two different types of airbrushes, uh, siphon fed, which means this little cup here goes, hooks up into this airbrush. The air basically goes over the top of it, pulls it out, psh, takes a little bit more uh, PSI. Uh, air to basically pull that paint out of there. The one I was using is called a gravity feed and it takes way less air pressure because the paint's just falling into the canal. So we're going to see what purple looks like. If I don't like it, I'm going to stop. But what I wanted to do is just darken in all the dark spots just to kind of make that pop a little bit more. I could be using our hand stencils, which I think I'm going to do. So what I want to do, put that there. You can really make stuff pop with these. What do you think of that? Does that look good? And then you can go in with the white and just beep, highlight that. I don't want to paint over this color here. Are we still live? What is happening? 
Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I almost forgot. I'm used to hearing talking or, or actually watching talking, like <laughs> watching talking. YouTube, are you still with me? TikTok, are you still with us? If I like that, I thought about putting um, a big pair of neon lips up here above that, like in spray paint. I think that would be fun. Sorry about that um, notification there. I do, and I can always make some. Love the purple, so here, watching the magic. This looks amazing. Looks well, we, amazing, Jeff, and I'm still here, so shame. Thank you. We got anybody on TikTok? Yep, 17. Awesome. Hi, all 17 of y'all. Directly use code YALL, Y A L L, all caps, no punctuation, and you'll get a discount. See, this is what these are for. Thank you so much, Jenny, for that donation. Thank you, Jenny. Way to go, Betty. Petra on TikTok wants to know why you're not wearing a mask. Um, to my knowledge, airbrush is water-based. Is no noxious chemical. No, it, it, I, I probably should, but um, with me talking to y'all, it wouldn't work out that well. And I'm, I mean, yes, this is, there's so much less paint coming out. <laughs> like, there's hardly any paint coming out. And yeah, I know I'm, I'll probably get some flack for not wearing a, a respirator, but. Uh, Excuse me, say now yeah. If you want to, you are more than happy to wear a mask while you paint. Honestly, listen to your body and do what's good for you. That's funny, Jenny. Oh, that's awesome, 
Valerie. Thank you. She said her birthday is tomorrow, and she's making her husband buy a bunch of supplies from the website. Awesome. Shut the front door decor. I like that name. Shut the front door decor. Happy birthday um, in a minute, Valerie. Are you just shading with purple now? Yeah. All right, so there's no black. No, nope, no black. I feel like she is looking at me. Thank you, Julie, for the light. Uh, it's a it's the protector. Um, sometimes the needle, the paint dries on the tip of the needle, so take it off. And I don't know if it's me, but sometimes I can get a little better line without this on here. Um, it's just a protector. Betty, you be careful. Sorry, guys, I just gotta. Felt like it was getting fuzzy for some reason. Buddy, I don't know how you got in a concussion, but take care of yourself. This piece is fire. She needs to people work. I put these paint lines on here and I can't paint over them <laughs> because I don't want to, I don't want to make them go away. So a lot of times when Jeff decides that he doesn't like the piece, he'll just experiment with stuff. And I think he decided he didn't like this portrait. No, I did. I liked it, but the guy I follow, I, I know I'm going to say his name wrong. He's a graffiti artist. His name's Helio, Heller, Helio Roy or Helio Boy. I, I know I'm, I'm demolishing that name right now, and I'm so embarrassed, but um, he does a lot of that. Like, he does, he, his can control is impeccable. Like, it's amazing. Um, oh, so he does... What and like he does line? the yeah he puts paint on and he just scrapes it paints on and scrapes it and I, oh. that's why I, I don't know why I saw that in this so 
I think I just wanted to try it as well, just to see. Tiffany Denny says, can you tell him to just stop because I can't afford a third seat for him. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> I am a villain. Buy my artwork. Mwahaha. Jillian says, Helio graffiti, Jeff? Helio. Is it Helio Ray? Helio. -E I want to say Helio Ray, Helio Boy, Helio something. But he is amazing. <clears throat> um, what do you need? What can I get you? What can I need to move? I need that trash can over here. So I'm going to clean this. Um... All I do is just spray water in here and, and uh, spray it out. I, uh, Helio Bray, is that it? His style with the, with the can is truly amazing. It's, it's, it's like watching a master, like, He's so amazing. Yes, Betty, take care of yourself. All right, so I think what I want to do is make sure this is dry. God, yesterday I was airbrushing and it would not dry because it was real humid here to, or yesterday. It was raining. But we definitely need that rain. I would really like to darken that, but I think I'll be all right. I don't want to make it pop out too much. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take this white and go back. You know what? I'm going to spray some matte over this because this is kind of shiny. This isn't gloss paint, but when you airbrush on something and you kind of put a little concentrate of airbrush on it, it's, it gets kind of shiny. So I'm going to spray the areas that I hit with airbrush with some matte spray. And then that way I can, I can actually paint over that airbrush because sometimes when you airbrush and then you try to put marker over it or some other paint, airbrush is so sensitive that uh, it will go away. Like it'll, it'll come off because it's, such, it's, it's on there so lightly. And this actually pops out the, the colors. I need to open up a window, y'all. Sorry. I should have a mask on for that as well. All right. Enough of that. Enough of that, you see? Back in here. Night, Shane. Sticky Heart says that looks sick. Oh, yeah, it's Helio Bray. Helio Bray. Sticky wants to know Have you heard of the Four Style Challenge? Four style. Um, I have not. What is that challenge? Sounds fun. JJ wants to know if you showed me the tasty taco recipe he sent yesterday. Uh, I have not. I, what is that? Is that? I guess I better check that. I saw it when I woke up, and I think my mind was on something and forgot to look at that. But now I want to see it. <laughs> Rest up, vamp. 
Messed up, vamp. You got work to do. <laughs> All right. right. So um, this is Exacto blade, and what I like to do with that is just go back and scratch and make like eyelashes and eyebrows and little harder lines. Normally, I do that with this. Whenever I do the highlights and eyes, I never use white, but since this is so kind of poppy, um, I can use that with this. And what this does is just kind of define your hair. Just be careful and don't cut your uh, canvas. Someone just asked, how many times have you cut through your canvas? Uh, once. I did it one time and I never did it again. And it was a huge painting. Like I had just finished it for somebody. Jeff art for hours. Same. Thank you. I'm not trying to do too much. I'm not trying to go crazy. Just to give it a little pop. No, don't want Eugene Levy eyebrows. Right. Although, they are pretty spectacular. They are. Jimmy said I would have dyed a finished piece and cut it. And I, how I fixed it was I put like paste, like a paint paste. Not and yet. I think I put a business card on the back. I don't know. I'm sure to this day you could see it. What's that, moose? Moose? Better, Betty. Boy cat, don't you jump. What is he doing? He's... Hey! What are you doing? What, you're making me nervous. All right. Can they see that or is it just off to the side? No, oh, I'm, God. I'm in there. <laughs> well, in you were there. doing, like, <laughs> individual hair strokes, so I wanted uh, people to be able to see. Are you doing more highlights with the eraser? I was going to do it under the nose, but it's it's too dark under there, so, but it's fine. I don't, I don't mind it. Is this where we're breaking on this one, or? I think so, because I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to do something, then I'd not like it. Is that a pro tip for artists when you get to a spot where you're not sure to... to yeah, just walk away. Don't walk away it. and just look at it with fresh eyes. You know, leave for 15 minutes, an hour, a, a day. Just go to sleep. You know, something might come to you in your sleep or you might see something that inspires you to be like, yep, that's what I want to do to that. Mm -hmm. um, normally, back in the day... God, I used to paint like three or four paintings a week and I would just finish a whole painting or two in one day like um, because I didn't want to stop because if I were to stop doing a piece, I, would, I got bored or I just got uninterested in it and would never finish it. Like there's a painting in that window that I never finished and I, I don't want to finish it. <laughs> We did, we did finish a couple. 
Um, Mike Reed has one, actually. Oh, yeah, the girls? The girls, yeah, with the masks. What are you going to do to the top part? I really want to put a neon piece up there, like a neon lip. Like it's standing out, like do a shadow and everything to where it's just a, such a different uh, medium looking. Like it's just something, you know, a different style. Glowing, kind of stand off. But I think I want to stop for now just because... I could darken this up right here, but I think it's good. What do y'all think? What do you think, TikTok? Five people? What's up? Yeah, it just sunk down. Yeah. All right, I think I'm done with this. Y'all have a... Thank you for the likes, y'all. Really appreciate that. Um, and go check out some of our videos. Possibly, Evelyn. Yeah, it would be neon. Everyone says love it. What's up, Cinderblock? How are you? Okay. So, you want to tell everybody... I think this is going to be my next... I tried to start this yesterday and got in deep and was doing too much. So I painted over it. I actually got it almost all the way airbrushed and I painted over it because I didn't like it. Who does that? Um, but I want to do this on a round because I love that. I've painted this Dietrich, probably, yeah, 20 years ago. I did this when I used to do just nothing but black and whites. And I would put like just like color in her eyes. But I think that's fun. Tiffany says, I'd love to see an Olivia Newton-John piece. Olivia Newton-John. Especially Newton -John. since she just passed. Huh. Sandy from Greece. I like, the, I like that. It looks good. I'm glad I did that detail in there. Mm -hmm. It really made the piece, like, more real. All That's right. Good. All right, TikTok, you guys are awesome. Thanks for joining our live. Um... When I, when I paint uh, this big one here, that is going up there on that one. Um, no. That was kind of a test piece to see if I like the hand and the crown. I'm going to make the crown a little bit smaller. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll definitely go live when I do that so you all can see that. Be a big, long piece. Record that on the GoPro. So you guys have an awesome day, and uh, we will see y'all later, TikTok. YouTube will see you on Monday. Be kind to one another, because you never know what somebody's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. So you don't have to. Yeah, so I, we, you <laughs> don't have to. All right, guys. We'll see you guys on Monday, 6 o'clock live. Bye. I said bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>